What's going on guys? It's Mike here. It's been a long time, so I have a lot to explain, but first This is a mother body building channel. I can't do this with a shirt on. I gotta show you what's going on First things first. I have a couple things to explain to you guys obviously because it's been about a month Maybe a little over since I posted the first week when I missed recording. I didn't bring my camera I actually went down to Oklahoma City, so I'm in Arkansas. I went over to Oklahoma City or my coaches to see the Oklahoma City Grand Prix show. It was an NPC show that a lot of my um, teammates did. It was great. I actually got to meet a lot of them because we have a Facebook group. And so I don't really see them a lot, but I see their posts. We post our workouts and stuff on there. And I've never actually met my coach in person. So it was nice to be able to meet him. His name's Marcus. So I got to meet Marcus down there and watch uh, some of them compete. And I got to learn a lot of things from Marcus as well. So it was a great trip overall. The second week, I came back and I was just being lazy. So I didn't post. The third week, the truth is I almost quit. I get really into social media, like um, my Instagram, trying to grow it. And mainly because, I'll be honest with you guys, I want sponsors because I really want to bodybuild and it's expensive. And so sponsors help. But sponsors don't like people with 100 followers. So, what are you gonna do? But I get really into it, and then I start to get negative because there's just so many people out there. You start thinking like, you know, I'm just Mike Shear from, you know, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, living in Arkansas, like who cares? What I have to say. And then, you know, you, your inner comes out and you start making excuses. So who cares? We don't need to go into that. And then the fourth week was a different show. It was actually my girlfriend's show. So it was an NPC show and it was all girls. And then there was a pro show, also all girls. And then there was a bodybuilding show, also all girls. Um, I think that I figured out why I was all split up. I think normally they do that show in Arizona as one show, but the reason it was split into three is because with Corona, uh, the theater they had only had a hundred seats. And because you can only sit 100 people, instead of having 100 people watch all three shows, which no one would sit through all three shows, uh, they wanted to split up the shows so that they could have 300 people sit at three different shows, if that makes sense. Because like for me, I went to see my girlfriend. So as soon as she went off stage, I left. But then that ticket's already sold. You can't fill that gap, if that makes sense. Wrapping all that up, here we are. It's 12th of December. I decided to get my in gear and show up for you guys on the channel. You may have already noticed by the title, I called it my three month transformation, which it is a three month transformation. I switched from a maintain and cut, not really cut cut, but like a maintain diet slash in a deficit for summer to now I am getting ready for the show, which I mentioned in my older videos, um, but also I'm calling this episode one for prepping for 2021. The reason for that is because Three months ago, I really started prepping for 2021 shows. Next year, I will be competing, which I mentioned in my older videos, but I just want to reiterate for any of the new viewers, which right now is a great time. If you're a new viewer and you enjoy what you've seen already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I really appreciate that. The show dates, though, are unknown. Um, number one, I don't really know much about shows. <laughs> Honestly, I just focus on doing me. I let my coach do all the work as far as that because he knows you know, what show he wants me to do. And things are still a little weird with Corona. Not all the show dates are released and stuff. So it's kind of hard to plan your season because we're not sure if we're gonna do one show. Maybe I'm gonna do two shows. It really all depends on how much bigger I can get. Because, three reasons. Number one, my shoulders need to be more round. They suck, they're terrible. My arms, look at that, almost non-existent. Where's it at? I don't even know, can't see it. it disappeared in the wall because I'm pale. And number three, my legs. I'm going to brag here for a second because they're huge, they're honestly, very good legs. They're 27 and, a half, 27 and a half inches when I measured a few weeks ago. However, the problem is my hamstrings don't exist at all. They're gone. They're, I don't have any. So I need to fix that. And if I don't fix those things, I can almost guarantee you I'm going to lose, which in my mind, anything other than first place overall, I lost. Bringing those three items up, those three muscle groups, those three deficits that I have are gonna be absolutely crucial to me winning my first show at the NPC level. You might be thinking, Mike, well, what does that consist of? So my coach sends out workouts to the team and we all do those workouts and they're awesome workouts. He's great at programming workouts, but I have to do a little bit of extra because I need some work. So. On upper days, anytime we hit chest or back or arms, I gotta do extra shoulders. So that means, you know, maybe extra side, side raises or um, um, I've been doing a lot of heavy pressing 
and stuff like that to just try and get my shoulders thicker and rounder and fuller and just better. Then when we hit arms, which we hit arms uh, kind of like on our back day and on our chest day a little bit, I have to add two, one to two extra top sets. So that means uh, we'll usually work up to a weight and then we'll hit what's called a top set, which is like an all out set. And I have to add one or two of those sets to make sure my arms are responding. In addition to that, when we, when we hit arms, which um, we do like a flush day and I hit arms and shoulders, when I do that, I just have to really, really focus on what I'm doing and lift with intent. So I really think, I slow things down, you know, I just try to make that uh, mind to muscle connection the best I can and just the whole time I'm literally thinking if you don't get your stuff together, you're going to lose. So hopefully that motivates me. Hopefully we see some improvements in my arms and things start moving along here. And hamstrings, same thing. We have like a lower body flush day where you get to pick uh, kind of like he has four or five different workouts, you get to pick. I don't really get to pick now, I have to do hamstrings. And every time we do legs, I do high and wide on the leg press or wide stance or anything that's gonna target my hamstrings over my quads because my quads overpower my hamstrings tenfold. If you've ever seen me in person, you know this. Obviously, especially with my arms, I get nervous. You know, I'm sure like you guys do too, you're like, I just wanna grow my chest or my back. So you hit a hundred million sets, you know? And I'm really tempted all the time in the gym, especially the, the days where I'm feeling good. I'm like, maybe I'll just hit a few sets of arms, you know? And I talked to my coach about it and he's like, hey, more doesn't always mean more. And that makes sense. I mean, you guys know there's a balance to everything in life. So more doesn't always mean more. I'm doing slightly more for sure, but we're not going to, I'm not killing myself. You know what I mean? You have to do, I have to go over and above because obviously what I'm doing standard isn't growing these muscle groups, but I don't need to go from here to through the roof. I just need to go from here to the next level up. Now, because of the title of the video, I want to do this properly. I know that I did a video for you guys about what I was eating, which honestly I'm still eating about the same. It averages like maybe 36 to 3,800 calories per day if you're curious. So I'm gonna show you my check-in pictures from September 13th, which was about uh, almost exactly 12 weeks ago, three months, just like I said in the title of this video. And I weighed 213 pounds here. Here they are, go ahead and check them out. As you can see, I was uh, pretty cut. Not like, you know, I'm not shredded. I'm not ready to go on stage, but you can tell I'm not exactly fat. I was nice and tan, it was the summer, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here are my pictures from last Monday, the 7th of December where I weighed in at 240 pounds that morning. Uh, the week before I actually weighed 243 because of traveling for the show, I kind of slipped up, I guess. I did my best, but you know, we're in a hotel and stuff and I had to fly, so. Right here, I'm gonna throw up some comparison shots just for you guys to see. If you follow me on Instagram, I threw up one of these uh, shots the other day, just a front double bicep of then and now, I think it was a front double bicep. Just to show you guys, so I'm, I'm bigger, right? I'm a lot bigger, I've gained about 30 pounds. And is it all muscle? No, I mean, you can tell it's not all muscle. But am I fat? I would say I'm not fat. That's me. I would definitely say I'm not fat. It's not out of control. I go off of how I look and how I feel. I think I look good and I also feel really good. Now, before you say, whoa, hold the phone, Mike. 30 pounds, that's 10 pounds a month. I can't do that. No one can do that. That's impossible. Either you're lying or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And I get it. I get what you're thinking. But in 2018, I actually was preparing the same way for a show. And then what happened was it was a mess. Like, I'm not even gonna go into the details. It was a mess and I basically had to abandon that idea because of work. Then I had to move and then before I moved, I had to go to all these training classes and I couldn't compete. I literally could not compete if I wanted to. So I, I ended up being like 220 and then uh, that rolled into 2019. And that's when I was, you know, basically maintaining. I looked pretty much like those pictures in that first check-in the entire year of 2019. Long story short, I was getting ready for a show in 2018. 2019 was a mess. 2020, here we are. And I finally, I'm gonna be in one place long enough to compete. So long story short, what I'm saying is, I've already had this weight on. And I'm sure that you guys know if you've taken a week, a couple months, uh, or even a year off of the gym, I'm sure you've seen it where you're like, oh, I look like shit. And then you get back into it and in three weeks you've gained all your weight back. I don't know the science behind it and I could care less, but it's a thing and you can see visually here that that happened for me. But now I'm at the 240, so anything over this, the heaviest I've ever weighed was 243. So anything over this is gonna be like, 
I'm guessing it's gonna be a slow progression, if I can even do it. We'll see what happens. It was good seeing all your smiling faces, sitting at your laptop, holding your phone while you're taking a dump, whatever. Maybe you're watching me doing cardio. Thank you guys so much again for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It seriously helps me out, and I love seeing that little number turn into a bigger number and a bigger number. Leave a comment down below and let me know what show do you think I should do next year. Now remember, NPC, I'm not a pro. Not even close. Like the video if you guys made it this far. That also helps the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.